shooting in Florida. Good evening to you. I'm Anita Blanton. And I'm Tom Shab. We just received word that a student has been arrested for making threats at Lake Taylor High School. This just came in now, and police are reiterating safety is a top priority as they continue their investigation. The schools threatened include Lake Taylor Middle School in Norfolk, Bethel and Kickatan High Schools in Hampton, Nansman River, and Lakeland High Schools in Suffolk. Now, threats were also made against schools in Southampton County and Elizabeth City. And just in the last few minutes, we found out that 14 year old again has been arrested for the Lake Taylor threat. Now, all schools in Gates County were on lockdown today because of a threat. Teachers and staff are trying to calm fears, and some schools have even increased security. Turn on your side, Jason Mark sat down with a child psychologist about these mounting threats. Jason? Well, as you just mentioned, we've seen a lot of them and experts say it's no surprise. Honestly, it's easy to, it's tough to be a teenager in 2018. As we all know, you have social media. There's a lot to deal with and the reality is that these school shootings and these threats are here to stay. Unfortunately, they are happening more frequently. These horrific scenes played out in our schools have somehow become the norm. And this is something that any high school student has to see that can happen at their school also. Marjorie Stoneman Douglas will now be forever in the same sentence with Sandy Hook, Columbine, and Virginia Tech. It can happen anywhere, anytime, unfortunately. While the debate continues on how to stop these sort of tragedies, once again we are seeing similar threats at schools all over Hampton Roads. When people call in and make these what seem to be for the most part false threats is an immediate way to draw attention. Over the weekend there have been threats to schools in Hampton, Elizabeth City, Norfolk, Gates and Southampton counties. Psychologist Gary Rotfuss says they could be called in by a teenager or an adult who has some sort of gripe against society. It's very predictable. You know somebody who feels disenfranchised, who's angry, who feels out of control and insecure at their own life um, something like this is a way of gaining power and control, and that's what this is all about. Law enforcement has been busy looking into every threat. So far, none of them have been credible. Rotfuss says this isn't only terrifying for students, but for their parents. Our parents must be scared just to be sending their kids to school in the morning, not knowing uh, what's going to happen by the end of the day. And social media is playing a major role in these threats. Rothman says on one hand, they spread like wildfire, but at the same time, people are seeing these threats as they come in. They're being shared around, and so they could be easier investigated. So what should parents be telling their kids? I'll have that part of the story coming up on Wavy News 10 at 6. Jason Marks, 10 on your side. And the